everyone, how's it going? It's going great with me back again with another video for you all to enjoy. So I want to start off by saying wow on Monday this week Whoa. we'll hit a Bizard wow. <coughs> I was watching the news and saw that some places in Ontario got 50 centimeters of snow La. and Toons Day in Toronto was another snow day. I also saw on the news that a nine-year-old boy was shuffling for quite a while with just a shovel, and now it's going around all over the internet about how exhausted he's from doing it and really tired and some of us can relate to it. Like if you don't own a snowblower, do it all by hand, which takes double the time than a snowblower. Wow, crazy, and they had to yeah. shut down the 401 highway because of it, which is crazy. This is the most snow I've ever seen in my yeah. whole life. Wow, crazy. Anyway, so, and it came with really cold temperatures, like now it's minus 19, which is crazy. Warren with the news. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for in with the news, yeah. and now time for the accessibility guy to continue celebrating 15 years of software updates from Apple with iOS 12. I am so glad that I am done my iOS 11 video that I did last week. That was awful. So iOS 12 came out by Apple on September 18 of 2018 with bringing a bunch of bug fixes from iOS 11. iOS 12 mostly came with lots of bugs and they were too new for us and a change. Apple starts their iOS 12 year off with the initial release of iOS 12 with bug fixes and some changes like screen time is one of their new features, which screen time shows you how long you've been using your iOS device like your phone and your iPad and your iPod touch. Mm -hmm. Screen time you can limit yourself or your children and Sierra Pendle controls under restrictions tab within screen time like so. iOS 12 also blended all of the node infections together like so. iOS 12 was the last update to be on that person's iPhone 5 seconds, which I returned it so thoughts out of my life. Which is I don't need it anymore only to do a video like when I am done with an Apple device I just put it in my box where my Apple tech collection is. Mm. Hey by the way I don't know if I can ask this on YouTube but right never mind. I just figured if any of you have iPod Touch 5 I could buy off you then my iPod Touch collection will be complete then I will do a video about it. Never mind that I asked on YouTube. I just keep looking. I just want to collect it so I am totally fine with a 15 gigabyte iPod Touch 5 thoughts no problem. Anyways, back to taking about iOS 12. It's really cool that it's the final version to be supported on my iPod Touch 6, and as well as on my iPhone 6 Plus, and I never knew until I read all about iOS 12, 
that when Apple released iOS 12.5, it was the very first iOS to be on my iPod Touch 7, which is now still updatable, which is cool for another year until the end of iOS 16, which is pretty cool for years of updates, which is awesome, and I hope that in May Apple will release their final official iPod Touch 8, which is more to look just like iPhone X. Now Apple released iOS 12.0.1 on October 8, 2018 which funny Apple released iOS 12 for the iPhone XR is pre-installed on that phone. Apple released iOS 12.1 on October 30th and November 6th for some reason of that year. Apple released iOS 12.1.1 on December 5th of that year with bug patches from the awful iOS 11, <laughs> and no joke it was bad you should watch my video from last week, if you haven't already it was bad. Apple released iOS 12.1.2 on December 17th and the 20th of 2018, and it was the final update of 2018. Happy New Year 2019 everyone with Apple releasing iOS 12.1.3 on January 22nd of 2019. Apple released iOS 12.1.4 on February 7th. Apple released iOS 12.2 on March 25th of that year with the initial release on iPad Air 3rd General and as well as iPad Mini 5. Apple released iOS 12.3 on, on May 13th, and also on May 26th with the internal release on my iPod Touch 7th General which is so cool. Apple released iOS 12.3.1 on May 25th and May 29th, wow weird alrighty then. Apple released iOS 12.3.2 on June 10th of that year, which also when Apple had their big Apple Worldwide Developers Conference, which I really want to go to it some year maybe for their big 40th anniversary of having it in 5 years from now which will be sometime in June of 2027. Mm -mm. We will just see that will be cool. I just wonder who will be their new CEO because some of us don't know yet but I do. Tim Cook is ready raying from being CEO in September of 2025. Some history for you guys. In June 2011 Steve Jobs decided to retire from Apple Incorporated, and then Tim Cook took over his place as being CEO and as of sometime in September of 2025 he will retire and have someone else a new guy. Or maybe he will be a woman you never know that would be cool having a woman be the CEO of Apple. We will find out, I am sure we will get more information, when we move closer and closer to his retirement. I think he's a really good guy, and I only saw the Steve Jobs movie, when I went on a field trip, when I attended middle school. That movie however was good, and all but it had lots of swearing and potty mouth. And then Steve Jobs sadly died on October 5th of 2011 which on Wikipedia never says what was his cause of death was. He was only 56 years old which is pretty young. I don't know what happened now I am curious to find out. I have never seen an interview with him when he was at Apple, but I really want to someday that would be pretty cool. Steve Jobs would have been turning 67 in October this year. Wow he has been gone for almost 11 years crazy and really sad. Mm -hmm. Before I move on I want to say that a week before Steve Jobs retired, 
He said to his staff on my 11th anniversary on October 5th, 2022, he wanted his staff to make a brand new product, but it will come out on November 4th of this year. Their new product will honor his legendy by releasing Apple Glass, which is Apple Glass 1, which are like Google Glass, which are glasses. Mm -hmm. I never knew about that honor Steve Jobs. So Apple will make a special edition, which will cost almost double as their usual Apple Glass, and will be in honor of him what he did at Apple. He started working at Apple from 1976 to 2011. Wow, I never know that Apple has stood for this long. So wow, Apple has been in company for 46 years, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, and 2026 will be Apple's big 50th anniversary, and I am going to talk and post some videos on my channel about the history of Apple and celebrate their big 50th year milestone. Wow, Apple just can't believe it. That year, Apple will release their big iOS 20. Wow, wow, that will be a really great and fun year for Apple. Wow, just I am speechless right now. All I can say is wow. And he was moving on, so iOS 13 Beta 1 was released when Apple released iOS 12.3.2 on June 10th of 2019 with exclusive to the iPhone 8 Plus resolving an issue that could camera to capture portrait mode photos without love effect on some devices. Pro trade mode is super cool. I got it on my iPhone and even on my iPod Touch 7 with iOS 15.4 came out nine days ago. Yeah. So moving on, Apple released iOS 12.4 on July 22nd of that year with ad support for the Apple Card service and also adds migration to between iPhones running iOS 12. iOS 12.4.1 was the final update of iOS 12 for devices that support iOS 13 and future versions of software updates from iOS but devices running iOS 12 will still get updates from iOS 12 which is cool it undoses a vulnerability fix reversal from the previous release. Mm -hmm. Now Apple still supporting iOS 12 devices with future updates which are pretty cool. So let's start with the first iOS 12 update that doesn't support iOS 13 devices such as my iPod Touch 6. iOS 12.4.2 was released by Apple on September 26 of 2019 which is the same day as when iOS 13 came out but mind you you will not get these updates if your device mm. supports iOS 13 iOS 12.4.3 was released on October 29th of that year with bug fixes. Apple released iOS 12.4.4 on December 10th of that year along with bug fixes. Apple released its first update of 2020 with iOS 12.4.5 on January 28th of 2020. Apple released iOS 12.4.6 on March 24th of that year. This is Apple's first time that N4.7 was released. iOS 12.4.7 was released on May 20th of 2020. This is Apple's first 4.8 update. Apple released iOS 12.4.8 on July 15th of 2020. Apple's first time 4.9 update, which is iOS 12.4.9 on November 5th, 2020. 
Lots of people are wondering if Apple would release iOS 12.4.10 or iOS 12.5 or Apple stopped supporting them. But no, on December 14th of 2020, Apple released iOS 12.5 with ads, COVID-19 exposure notifications on iPhone 5 seconds and iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, and as well on my iPod Touch 6. Apple doesn't stop releasing updates in 2021 for iOS 12 devices, which is really cool and amazing. Apple released iOS 12.5.1 on January 11th of 2021 with solves an issue where exposure notifications could incorrectly display logging profile language on iPhone 5 seconds and iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Apple released iOS 12.5.2 on March 26th of 2021 with bug fixes. Apple released iOS 12.5.3 on May 3rd of 2021. Apple released iOS 12.5.4 on June 14th of 2021 with security fixes and thoughts when iOS 14 Beta 1 came out. Apple's final iOS software update for now maybe more to come was iOS 12.5.5 and was released when iOS 15 came out on September 23, 2021. Well I don't know if this is the end of Apple, but while after two years Apple still supports devices that can't update to iOS 13. Maybe we will get iOS 12.5.6 or even iOS 12.6. Well, we just have to wait and see if this is the end or for more to come. Yeah. Quick note that Apple will stop supporting devices running iOS 14 and they want you to update to iOS 15. <laughs> You can read their whole news article about it on Apple News. Well, I promised you last week that I will do a COVID update yeah. for all of you. So now here's the numbers for Thursday, January 20th of 2022. Well, so let's see what the damage is today, shall we? Today worldwide case count is on hold on a minute is that right then wow god help us. Wow is it live right now on worldometers.com on Google thanks for letting me use your site. Worldwide total case count is on whopping 342,808,907 wow oh my goodness wow. Mm -hmm. I think my COVID prediction at the beginning of the year is why way off for the end of COVID. My prediction was 373 million by the end of COVID, but I am pretty sure we will beat that. Well, maybe we will hit 400 or more. Maybe the Spanish flu that had 1.2 billion cases, which is crazy. The sad news is almost 5.6 million people in the world died from the virus, which is actually pretty good. The Spanish flu killed 500 million people. The good news that 276,270,730 people has recovered from COVID. Today in the U.S. there has been while still high, but not as high as we had the other day just two weeks ago where they reported no joke a million new cases, and today they have reported 629,733 new cases for a total overall we hit today 70 million COVID cases, which is an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Al Song with 2,531 females lost their loved ones today. 
Wow, the semicron variant is a really bad one. Some places in the world are in their fifth wave of it. Thoughts why always keep wearing your masks and people or me have got these N95 masks, which gives you more protection around it. But it's not spreading in retail stores like shopping malls and jewelry stores. It's spreading among people having their house parties. Let's see how we did in Canada today. While it's the most I've seen in a while, while it's a real bad ones, guys, we're going to be in it for the long haul yet, which I am not. But some people are fed up and tired of this. Canada has reported wow the biggest we ever had 23,912 new COVID cases wow it's the best for you guys and me to stay home and not going out. Just to buy groceries like that for your kids and your other family members. Canada has reported 212 deaths which is really sad. So thoughts my video, mm. if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe, like and give me a thumbs up. It's my bedtime going to bed now, see you next week and this iPod Touch 6 say bye bye. Mm -hmm. yeah. bye, bye.